Let's do it. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the Creator Town Hall here on Studio Live today. My name is Pete Johns, if it's your first time here, uh, this is our show all about you. You are the creator and uh, this is a show by creators for creators and today we're going to talk about a topic that's, look, it's a bit serious, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not going to be the funnest time, well, okay, it'll be fun, we'll make it fun, but we're going to talk about burnout because who hasn't as a creator experience some sort of burnout at some point in your creative journey. In fact, I put a poll out on uh, my YouTube channel and I've got the results of the poll here that we'll go into in this very show. But if you're watching here live or if you're catching up on the replay and you have any thoughts, do put them in the comments here. If you have suffered from burnout before, if you have tips for other people who may have suffered from burnout, do let us know because it's not a fun place to be, but uh, it is not forever. And that's what I say about music. Music should be fun. Music should be a joyous experience. And if you're suffering from that uh, that creator's block, that artist block, that writer's block, uh, it, it's not a permanent state. And we'll talk about all of that. And I've got some comments from the community that we're going to go through here today. We're also going to talk about what's happening over the weekend because... It's probably the biggest weekend of live streaming that I've seen in a long time. We've got streams from me here. We've got uh, Jade Star interviewing uh, a very cool creator. We've got Mike from Creative Source. We've got the one and only Ron Ward. Are you Ron ready? We'll find out about that. So we'll talk about all the different shows that we've got going on around here. And of course, because we're live, you can throw out your questions. And if you've got any questions, here's what you do. Put the word question in front of your question and uh, you can ask your question right here live on the show. Hello to the folks who have dropped on in here live. We have uh, Mr. Gregory O'Sullivan. Yo to Jade Star. Hello to you. Deep Gravity is here. The Lily Pillies, uh, a band that I played on Your Music Live. I'll tell you a bit about Your Music Live. I'm sure many of you are aware of it. Uh, we've got Ron Ward. Speaking of the one and only Ron Ward, uh, he is here as well. And yes, yeah, Jade says... Burnout is a part of creativity. If you are not experiencing burnout right now, you probably have in the past. And if you haven't, you probably will. And look, this is not to be negative. Let, let's, let's just quash that right now. When I'm talking about burnout, I don't mean that you're going to never be able to create again. But what I mean is that sometimes things just don't go exactly as you plan. And there's some strategies. There's some ways to actually cope with it. And that's what we're going to go through here today. So let, let's dive in and, and have a chat here. But once again, if you do have any comments as we go through, please throw them right here in the chat. And if you're watching on the replay, don't worry. We love you just as much. You can leave your comments for us as well. But what is burnout? And is that even the right term for it? So I've talked before about motivation and about creative writer's block and creative block and all these sorts of things. What does it actually mean and, and, and what do you do about it? So if you are a creator and you're trying to make music, sometimes it will just flow. Sometimes you'll be in this ridiculous flow state where you'll just be like, okay, I've, I'm, I'm going to create a song and you sit down and you write a hook. And then you write the, the chords and then you write the guitar part and then you write the lyrics and then you bring it all together and you get the arrangement and it just all flows. You're in the flow state. Sometimes, let's be honest, it's like pushing sh stuff uphill <laughs> and it seems that no matter how hard you try, you can't actually get started and you can't get motivated to do it. And the cool thing is, and look, I, I hate to say it, but um, sometimes... Misery loves company is the bad way to put this, but we've all been there. You've all experienced this, and uh, I have as well. And in fact, when I put this poll out here on my YouTube channel, in fact, um, what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll share my screen here so that you too uh, can take a look at this. So if you if you go over to the YouTubes, go to youtube.com, as I'm about to do here, and I'm going to go to my channel, and uh, we'll share my screen here so that you can see what folks had to say about this, because um, that's what we'll go through. I've, I've got some comments here that folks left behind, and uh, just about this. So we'll go here to, uh, we'll go to my community, my, your, my channel, and uh, we'll go to the community tab. So uh, we'll bring up this one here. If we go to the community tab here, 
Uh, this is the show we've got going on right now. But this is the poll, and check that out. Like, are you are you feeling like you're not alone right now? Yeah. 87% of creators, 77 votes on this poll, 87% of you said that you have suffered from burnout, where you are unable to create music. And uh, we asked the question, if that's the case, what do you do about it? So that's what I thought we would go through here in this one. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the different um, tips that you have. Because I've got some ideas, but the cool thing about this, again, it's the Creator Town Hall. So we're all here to chat about, and as you can see, we've got 33 comments down there. So we've got a lot of folks who've had a lot to say about this. And not surprisingly, I put my uh, I put a link to my video about overwhelm just there as well. Uh, how, you can, uh, how you can avoid this problem by chunking down. And that's the first thing I wanted to talk about here today, is I wanted to talk about chunking down. So what do we mean by chunking down? So the, the main problem that you get is that when you're trying to write songs and when you're getting into this overwhelmed state or when you're getting burnt out or when you can't actually get creative, a lot of the time it's because you're trying to do everything. You're trying to boil the ocean. You're trying to get everything done at once. So instead of sitting down and going, right, how do I write a hook? How do I write the start of a song? How do I get an idea together? How do I write eight bars? How do I write an intro, a chorus, whatever it is? You're sitting down and you're going, how do I just completely create this entire project? How do I write everything? You're trying to do everything at once. And the reason I say chunk down is that the best tip that I've got, there's a couple of things. There's two two things that I do when I'm struggling. And we're going to do both of them here on this show. So strap in because it's going to be fun. Number one is to create an eight bar song. So uh, if, if my technology is not going to fail me and I'll be very honest, it's it's kind of been failing me a bit here so far. But if my technology actually works for me, we're going to create an eight-bar song here today. So I'm going to create something that's just an eight-bar, eight-track song. And I do this because that can get the creative juices flowing. And it doesn't matter how good or bad it is. It's just about getting something done. The other thing is a, a te technique that I've, I've used a bunch of times. I've talked about this a bunch. It's called speed thinking. And speed thinking is all about just getting your ideas out out there without any filter. And we're going to do a 60 second speed thinking task here that you're welcome to follow along with, or you can just watch me do it and uh, and and uh, make a fool of myself. The reason I'm stalling here is I'm trying to get um, I'm trying to get my reflector software so I can get my <laughs> I can get my iPad. Uh, here's the thing: Mac, uh, the new version of Mac OS has has updated so that you can now share your iPad or your iPhone directly to your Mac. That's great, except the problem is that that's kind of overridden the, the software that I use. And guess what? Now it's not letting me uh, use my reflector software. So I'm going to have to re restart my iPad here. It's not letting me do that. Actually, before I do that, let me just check. <laughs> let me just make sure that I'm on the actual same uh, Wi-Fi network because that's often a bit of a problem that we have here. So uh, I'll just double check this that we're actually, yep, we're on the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to restart my iPad down here and we'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, but let's first of all, uh, jump in and uh, take a look at some of the ideas that you had and that, that your viewers of this channel had about your suggestions for when you're suffering burnout. So I'm going to go straight to my post here and I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use the comments that we have here on this, uh, this feed. So we're going to go through and take a look at these now. So uh, if we jump over here, let's do this. We have a uh, hairbrush microphone. Uh, so they say, and again, you can, you can join along. You can, you can actually come and answer this poll. So if you haven't answered the poll already, it's right there on the community tab under the channel. If you haven't answered this poll, you can do so. But Hairbrush Microphone says, and let me know what you think about this. I think the best songs come from life experiences that are unique to you. I think burnout is the universe's way or your deity of choice of telling you that you need to get more experiences. My advice would be to go adventure and always keep a small notebook with you to jot down ideas. Also, understanding that you're burnt out. Plus, when all else fails, write a song about being burnt out. I think that is exceptional advice because um, whether you use a digital notebook or whether, like me, you carry your iPhone everywhere you go, 
take notes for goodness sake. Like what I use, I use OneNote. So my OneNote uh, is like a plethora. You can just sort of see it there. I've got all these notes here that I take. So uh, all of my video ideas, all of my lyrical ideas, all of my song ideas, they all go into a notebook here and I keep that with me. And uh, yeah, you can just see, this is the number of things that are in here. So I'm not running out of ideas anytime soon because I've got all of those. I've got probably about 300 different ideas of different things that I can do creatively that are coming there. Because when I'm not feeling creative, you know what I do? Let's let's embarrass me right now. Let's grab my voice memo. Because the other thing is, because we all have our own devices, the other thing you can do is actually go to your voice memos. And I'm going to go to my voice memos right now. And I'm going to find, I'm going to find something that, uh, that I've not played before. I'm going to go back in time. So I've got a bunch of different songs. So he, here's, here's an idea for a, sh a song called Sheeple. It, it just says Sheeple here on my phone. And uh, I'll just bring this up to the microphone. And uh, let's embarrass me now. And we'll see what Sheeple is all about here uh, on, my, on my phone. Because this is the sort of thing that I do. And this is what I recommend you do. That if you're in a creative rut, go out for a walk. But take your phone with you. And then when you just have one of those weird ideas or a headache with pictures, as I call it, then uh, you can get it down. So so what did I capture? 40 seconds of audio. Let's just play this and embarrass Pete, shall we? And then you just leave it like that, like. <laughs> so obviously that was part of an idea that I had. Now there's an original thing called Sheeple here. And I think this was a song. Now It's all coming back to me now. I had a song where I was like, uh, let the other sheeple bar. So let's just see if this is in fact this song that I had here uh, with the bar bar ideas. So, uh, <coughs> all right, this is Sheeple. <laughs> I had my daughter there at the same time by the sounds of it. Having fun. That's what I'm talking about. That's what comes when you're just not trying. So sometimes you'll sit down and you'll be like, I'm going to write a song and then nothing comes. But sometimes when you're just there jamming and you know, you're know you hanging out with your family, that's when these ideas come. And then when you grab your voice recorder, you record like a minute of audio. And I'd forgotten about that song until about three minutes ago. But now I'm like, oh, I like that idea. I might, uh, I might workshop that one. I might, uh, that might be my next song that I record in Logic or in GarageBand well, might be my song Sheeple. So there, there, there's an idea. Uh, hello to uh, Kit Silver. Thank you for being here. Black Covers is in the house. Hello, Ingo from Black Covers. I uh, hope you're doing well. Dave Fox is here. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I haven't experienced uh, I haven't experienced as a songwriter, but I have as a producer when I spend five days on a drum set, right? And that's the other thing. Not even, it, it's not necessarily when you're just a songwriter, but if you're producing a song, sometimes you get creative block and sometimes you get burnout when you're producing music. And what do we say around here? That if it's, if it's not fun, go do something else. And uh, in fact, we've got some comments here that are going to tell us exactly that, to, to, to go and do other things when, uh, when you're doing things and it's not fun. So uh, I'm going to zoom in on these because we've got some, great, uh, got some great comments and I want them to be easily, e easily readable and isolatable for you here. So let's go in back in here. Once again, if you're here live like Goran Larson is, please do leave your comments as well if you've suffered from burnout or if you have any tips for others who may have. That's what we're talking about here today. Uh, ev 3 e thing says the following, don't force it. Life gets in the way and you can't treat it like a normal hobby. You can't make yourself be creative. You live life and when you least expect it, inspiration will come. Man, you folks are wise. I think that's amazing. Don't force it. When you least expect it, inspiration will come. There's, there's an old quote, and I forget who it was about. It was some writer, and they said, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't get inspired all the time, but when I sit down at 9 a.m., I, I just happen to get inspired. It, I butchered that. But um, 
yeah, some, some people can just sit down and inspiration comes. Other people, it doesn't come at that time. You know when a lot of my inspiration comes? <laughs> when I'm paying bills, when I'm answering emails, when I'm doing admin. And again, when I sit here and I'm answering your wonderful comments or when I'm working out what I'm going to do with the channel or I'm working out how, I, how to pay the bills and keep the lights on, that's often when an idea just comes into my head and that's where having your phone handy or some sort of recording device or some sort of notepad or something is good. You know the other time I get ideas? In the shower. This is going to be a bit of a creepy, too much information kind of situation, but sometimes I'll uh, race out of the shower. Don't, don't, don't picture it. Just, just listen. I'll race out of the shower to get to my phone. And I've said this before. I think I said this on a show about a year ago. Someone's got to invent some sort of shower idea capture, like a voice recorder that sits in your shower that's like sits right there next to your taps and you just press a button and it's just got a voice recorder that records it in and sends it. I swear, I'm going I'm to get like an old iPod touch and just have the voice recorder app on all the time. The only problem is that how are you going to power that sucker up and uh, electricity and water really don't mix. So maybe that's a bad idea. But that's where I get my ideas. The other ideas I get are when I'm asleep. Like, uh, who doesn't get cool ideas when you're dreaming? So when you get up, like I've literally got on that same voice recorder, I'm sure if we go back in time, I'll have ideas where I, it's me just going... Because sometimes you don't have the voice, but you've just got an idea. Uh, let's go back here. I've got, I'm going to just find another one. This is one called Irish Fever. So was I having a fever dream about Ireland? I don't know. You know what that is? That's the intro to my song called Hold On. And that was written in, yes. 3rd of September 2019. So the actual songs that I write here, that was my song from uh, from 2019, uh, from for, for Songtember. <laughs> so that was an idea. And I called it Irish Fever to begin with because I probably had a dream one night where I was just like, dum, 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 bring. And then that becomes the song. It's a weird one. Uh, hello to uh, other folks who have dropped on him. Yeah, shower for sure, all the time. The shower is the weirdest place, but it, it generates ideas for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Marcus Cannell says, I always get burnout after releasing a track. After that, it takes me around 10 to 15 attempts to get a new cool idea that pops into my dark brain. I hear you. Yeah, that, that can be the least motivating time of all is when you've just finished something and you've just got something done that can be the time where, where you don't have any new ideas because you kind of, you're drained. And you know what? At that point, you go away and you do other things. And uh, I'm sure we've got some cool ideas from other folks here that uh, that will come to us. Uh, who have I missed here? Did I say hello to Goran? I think that snuck in here. Uh, hello to you. Uh, anyone else? If you're here, say good day. Just just chat in. Just just drop in and say good day. <laughs> it's the connection to water. You reckon? You reckon it's the connection to water that does it, uh, Deep Gravity? I think so. Hey, J East Music. Much love from Rotterdam City in the Netherlands. Uh, hello, shout out to all my friends in the Netherlands. I know we've got our buddy Case in the Netherlands. Uh, and uh, there you go. We've got another Netherlands viewer. And hello to Arnie G, who's up there in Norway. I'm like, getting all these places right. <laughs> tell, tell me off if I'm wrong. And Marcus Cannell, who told me where he was from last time. And I think it's Sweden. You can call me out if I'm totally wrong. By the way, that, that's just a way that I use to um to, to, to get people to, to comment again, is I get the, your location wrong, and then you comment again. All right, I'm, I'm going to have a beverage while we talk about this one. Uh, you, you can see the, the next comment that we have there on the screen. Uh, so Bear Band Subscription says, listen to music that once creatively invigorated, I love that word, invigorated you, and just make some random tracks intuitively for fun without putting much thought into it. Just mess around until something catches your ear also branching uh oh <laughs> why can't i see the rest of these on here can i not do the extension uh no <laughs> branching out into other genres let's just assume that that's what uh, bear band subscription was saying in fact i've got the i've got the um i've got them here saved on my phone so let me just check what, what our friend bare bone subscription actually said there uh i kind of got to find it now um, no, I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. But there we go. Also, branching out and listening to new music. Never. Oh, there you go. New music. 
listen to new music. That, uh, that is definitely a good idea. Listen into some new music, get those creative juices flowing. But yeah, listening to some of the tracks that you love, if you want to create music, listening to music is cool. And uh, I'll go one step further. And I'll say that if, you, if you're not just listening to music, playing cover songs. Don't underestimate the power of playing a good cover song. Uh, and we've got black covers right here. So playing a good cover song, uh, like, our friend in, uh, like our friend Ingo from Black Covers, is actually a great way to get creative. Don't underestimate the power of cover songs because what you learn from cover songs is you learn great chord progressions, you learn great melodies, you learn great harmonies, you learn great arrangement of songs. And sometimes playing and studying and listening to music and working out how it all comes together is one of the best things. I strongly believe that my songwriting has improved over the last 18 months because every week I do a show called The Happy Hour. We'll talk about that a bit later. I do a happy hour show every week where for an hour I play acoustic covers, generally covers of other people's songs. And I've learned so much about different chord patterns and structures and how songs work and how melodies and rhythms come together. It's amazing. So so do that. Do what Bear Band Subscription said and uh, do exactly that. Uh, let's grab another comment here. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, your music helped you out a lot. I, I appreciate it. I got it right. Sweden for the win. I got it correctly. Arnie G is listening quietly while at work. Hello to you. Uh, and uh, hello to you. Bin, Bin Ho. Hello to you. I saw your keyboard mouse vid and it's amazing. There you go. Yeah. So some people have found this channel through all sorts of different means. So uh, welcome. Welcome. Uh, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, Ron from uh, the, now Ron Ward, if you don't know Ron, uh, Ron is uh, a great creator in his own right. He has his own channel, which you need to go check out. It's called Homegrown Indie Live. And um, he, he says here, uh, when Brian and I uh, can't come up with a new one, we do a cover. Gets us going. Yeah. Covers for the win. Uh, Night Train 1988. I probably do half originals and half covers. When I did my Vienna cover, I was astounded by all the intricate parts that are to that. Yeah. You will learn so much by playing covers and learning and studying your favorite music. It's it's good music and it sold a million copies and made like platinum records for a reason. Like, yeah, you don't want to just copy and do the same as everyone else, but you will find a lot from that. Uh, Gregory S. Sullivan says, I got started with covers and it's a comfortable thing to go back to. And uh, black covers, you know me from my cover project, but I do originals as well. So I know these troubles for sure. And, and that's a cool thing. We... We would love to hear, Inga, we would love to hear some of your original music. Send it in. Send it into your music live. We'll talk about that a little bit bit later. Uh, I'm using my happy hour mug here, by the way, today. Yep, Martin Hammer's got it right. Take it easy and it will come back as it always does. So uh, the reason I love doing this show at this time is a lot of our European and UK friends can actually join us here. Uh, Martin, where are you from? I'm... I'm are you from Sweden as well? I'm so sorry. I, I get super confused by all of our friends in uh, in various Scandinavian and uh, European countries. So Martin, please let me know where you're from as well, uh, because I'm probably getting it wrong. I apologize if I have. Um, so lo lol with me, 336 double D. <laughs> okay. So this is perfect timing once again, for Pete, for addressing this because I'm going through it. Yeah. And everyone goes through it at some point or another. Even people that are 36 double D have... Um, creative block sometimes. Ron Ward, the one and only Ron Ward says, when I burn out, I watch movies. I read books, socialize, exercise, and don't be down on yourself when you take a break. It's common. But before you take a break, tell yourself that you're going to, I've got, I've got this up. You're going to, you're going to come back stronger and you will. And Ron is someone that knows this stuff, guys. Ron has done this. Ron has taken breaks. Ron knows when he's burnt out. Ron knows when he needs to take a break. And so do I. I don't I don't take public breaks that much because you might say, oh, but you've been doing a video a day for like freaking four years. I have. But you'll notice that in the last week, I, I haven't been live between the, the end of the happy hour and today, basically. So I've been putting out these little short clips of videos. And that's because I was feeling it. I was feeling that I was starting to. Because again, you can burn out through your music. You can burn out for other forms of creativity as well. So I needed to take a break to look after myself, my mental health, my physical health, and all of the rest of it. 
Uh, we'll see. Uh, Martin is a wise man. Hello, Jenny. Jenny from the U. K okay. says uh, uh, from the UK, from the US, from Florida. <laughs> Strangely enough, stress seems to increase creativity in Ron. And look, that's a really interesting one. And someone, I think someone's got a comment about that in a moment. That, uh, and we've already had a comment that says, "Draw from your life experiences," because sometimes the stressful times can actually help you create music. So at the moment, I'm very frustrated about a number of things. Look, we don't get super political or super ranty on this channel because we're talking about music. But there's some things that annoy me. And when I get annoyed by things, I don't go on Facebook tirades. I don't go and like isolate a bunch of people and call people out for things. I write a song. So sometimes getting a little bit up in your own head, sometimes getting a little bit stressed, sometimes getting a little bit worried about things, can actually create some of the best art uh, and some of the best music. So I agree with that, uh, Jenny, 100%. Lily Police said, we've only done one cover and it was just to see if we get some sort of reaction. Funnily enough, it didn't. <laughs> and look, that can be the case. Sometimes covers don't work. Uh, from Aberland, Martin Hammer. Yes, from Sweden. Martin is also from Sweden. There you go. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, so we've got lots of, uh, lots of folks. Stevie G in the house. Hello to you. I hope you're doing well. Hello to you. Brian, uh, Brian Katarin. Hello to you as well. I hope everyone is doing exceptionally well. And Martin says, uh, I'll be back in the studio tonight. Going to finish this tune for next Friday. There you go. New tune. Martin Cannell does some great instrumental uh, rock. And uh, we've played a lot of his songs on Your Music Live, which we'll talk about in just a little while. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, hello. If you're having some fun, and look, it's not... It was always going to be a weird one tonight because I wanted to talk about this. It's an important topic to talk about burnout because I don't think... I don't think it's talked about enough that sometimes you're just not feeling creative and that's okay. I just The reason I wanted to do this is that sometimes I feel like I don't want to create. Sometimes you feel like you don't want to create and I want everyone to be okay with this. There's a couple of ways to look at this. There's, um, there's two sides of the spectrum. There is the fact that you don't want to be down on yourself or other people, but there's also the element of toxic positivity, which I don't say lightly, but sometimes if you try and force yourself too much, you'll actually burn out more. So sometimes you do need to walk away. Sometimes you do need to go play a video game. Sometimes you do need to go drink a beer or, or a cup of tea. It would probably be more healthy. And sometimes you do need to just take a break. But then when you come back, as Ron said in his example, you'll be even better. Peter, hello to you. Advice, listen to music, find inspiration. Here, here. And everyone agrees with Peter because, look, he's got all the thumbs up there. Uh, Dill Taco. I see what you did there. Like Dill Taco. I just try to listen to more music and branch out. See some live music if possible. That usually inspires me. I mostly struggle to get motivated to sit down and... To sit down and uh, really try to make something. It's way harder to do than to noodle around or just uh, jot down lyrics passively as they come to you. This is a great point. I love this one. <laughs> Beer helps. It, it doesn't not help. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes it really doesn't help. Uh, but yeah, this is a big one. The noodling. So let's, let's, let's grab my guitar. Here's, here's the difference between noodling. So sometimes you're noodling, right? You're just like... I was a boy, now I'm a man. And a man has opportunities. Sometimes you're doing that right. And that's cool. And you can do that for an hour or two hours. But you know what you need to do? It's going to come back to this. Is that as soon as you're like, oh, I like that. I like the... I was a boy, now I'm a man. And the man has consequences. Oh, okay. That, that's a cool line. I like that hook. Uh, grab my voice memos. I'm going to hit record. All right, we're recording now. And we're going to go. I was a boy. And a boy. I've forgotten the words. <laughs> a man has consequences. I'm not going to have a clue why I recorded that or what that was all about. <laughs> because I'm not going to label it. But the reason I did that is uh, I'm going to label this now. I'm going to go to this voice memo, and I'm going to be like, um, uh, acoustic idea, uh, boy to man. And I know that our buddy Al, Night Train 1980, I've been listening to your album, Al, this week, and you've got like songs about this, about you know being a boy and becoming a man and growing up. So now I've got this idea here. So when I, uh, when, when I come back to this, I'm just going to be like, oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, I had that A minor. 
that A minor E. And then you can you can expand on that. So I think that is uh, is super cool. Good way to go. Uh, see you, Marcus Cannell. Thank you. Yeah, there's there, there, there's the next hit. Um, yes, grab a voice memo. You, you got to do that. You just got to grab that. Saying no, 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 I'm not ready yet. No, exactly. Just hit record. Don't don't wait for it. Don't wait for it to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. And you know what? Most creative types, most of you. If you're anything like me, you are too up in your own head. You're overthinking everything. You're, you're spending too much time thinking about it rather than just doing it. So just do it. Just do what I did then. Like, you know, I've got an idea. I'm going to grab my guitar or I'm going to grab my keyboard or I'm going to grab my voice or I'm going to grab my garage band or my iPad and I'm just going to start creating. I'm just going to start recording. Speaking of my iPad, I don't think it's uh, <laughs> I don't think it's a happening thing here. I think I need to keep working on the studio setup here because uh, I don't think it's going to be able to be. That's all right. We'll, we'll just we'll, we'll go with it. We'll uh, we'll adjust. All right. Next uh, next one here from the talons of Wayne Chang. Hello, Wayne Chang. My advice would be to leave it alone for a couple of weeks. Oh, we, look, we can actually read more on this one. Leave it alone for a couple of weeks, and then we'll come back to it. Uh, another good piece of advice given to me that actually worked is to listen to other different styles of music. There's another great tip. We've had that before uh, from a different era. For instance, I like funk and soul of the 80s, so I started to listen to 70s funk and 90s to 2000s electro funk for inspiration. Sometimes it just takes hearing a different instrument sound effect to spark your own creativity. How good is that? That's some great advice right there. Uh, well, good stuff. That is uh, the talents of Wayne Chang. Yeah, sometimes you need to listen to very different music. And here's the thing, we get caught up in our own genre sometimes, right? Um, th th there's a weird thing. I'm going to have a quick drink from my um, my Studio Live Today mug. By the way, studiolivetoday.com slash merch. <laughs> so, we we get caught up in our own genres and we refuse to listen to other sorts of music. Um, I'm going to talk about this. At the moment, my children and my wife are playing a game called Beat Saber. It's on the Oculus Quest. Yes, we're a VR family. We play the VR. So they're playing this game on the Oculus Quest. And we're listening to a lot of Imagine Dragons, Panic at the Disco, and Billie Eilish. Why? Because they're three artists that are on that game. Have I ever really listened to any of those artists before? Well, yes, I like Panic at the Disco. I love the song High Hopes. They've got some good tunes. Billie Eilish, I could take or leave. She's very talented, don't get me wrong. She creates a logic, which is right up my wheelhouse. I'm liking her more and more, but I've never been a big fan. And Imagine Dragons, I know they're really popular, but I've never listened to them. Listening to those songs a lot has really started to inspire me. Like a lot, again, a lot of the chord progressions they use, a lot of the lyrical ideas, a lot of the effects and things that they use in their music is stuff that I haven't used in my music before. And I really dig it. So listening to different styles of music and not just getting stuck in the one genre and in your own wheelhouse, expanding out, listening to different genres, I think uh, is a great idea. So uh, it is all good. Uh, do I ever think, sing to my dog? Ron absolutely does. They love it. Really? I've never done that. Uh, everybody wait. Every, that's only about, uh, who's going to get that? Uh, about 10% of the people. Everybody Wayne Chiang tonight. Everybody have fun tonight. Uh, hello, Joe. What do you know? Just got back from the Bloodhound Show. Um, we've got more comments here. So uh, if you're just joining us again, if you're getting some insights from this, if this is helping you, if this is making you feel better, it's a bit of a therapy session here today. I apologize for that. But I wanted to do this because, again, everybody goes through this, or at least, what did we say, 87% of people that answered that survey has had some sort of burnout at some point in time, uh, including our friend Scott Kidwell. So Scott says, take a break, turn off the TV, meditate, walk, exercise the body, read, exercise the mind, away from songwriting, check out other music, go watch live. If, <laughs> I've got to go to my phone to get the rest of it, if, 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 is this Scott Kidwell? Yep, there we go. Uh, I can't find Scott. There we go. Uh, if possible. That's all he had. It was possible. I don't know why some of them have view more and some don't. Uh, great, great advice there from Scott. Similar to what we've heard from other people. So uh, good job there from Scott. Uh, Charom says, uh, I have to take a break for a while and then pick it up again. Yeah, just take a break. 
Give yourself some time. The Jammer Man. How are you doing, The Jammer Man? I hope you're well. Stop. Listen to some music for a week. Discover a new band or artist or song. Read some fiction. Learn a new chord. Learn a new riff or solo. Love all of that. And I love the new music thing. So <laughs> speaking of new music, <laughs> should, we, should we segue into that? Mm. I think we should. So speaking of new music, there's a couple of places that you should probably check out. If you want to... If you want to get some new music into your world, one of them would be uh, would be this place here. Uh, Mr. Ron Ward, who is here in the chat, has uh, a couple of shows. And one of them is Homegrown Indie Live. Look how hairy it is. I love it. Real people, real music. So uh, what you want to do is get yourself over here to, uh, to Ron's show and to Ron's channel. Look, I'll share this with you. I'll share this right here, right now. I'll pop this right here in the, uh, in the chat. So wherever you're watching on the, on the YouTubes or on the Facebooks or wherever, uh, go over and check out Ron's show. There's another couple of places that you can go to check out new music. You can go to this man here. Look, it's very zoomed in there. You can go to Mike over at Creative Source and check out his featured artist live. Or you can even go to this guy. Yes, Your Music Live is another show that we do every week. And uh, there I am with my Distro Kid t-shirt looking stylish and uh, with my gremlin stalking me uh so yeah so there's a bunch of places where you can listen to new music you got the metalhead hippie you got thomas christ's show uh ron's also got his um his ron ready magazine show there's the create record release facebook group there's the garage band users facebook group there is no shortage of places where you can check out new music and the cool thing is you're gonna find yourself some really cool artists like there's a couple of artists that I've been... Uh, so, um, Kyan Burns is an Adelaide artist who I played a few weeks back. And I'm actually... I'm hoping... Kyan, if you're watching, I'm hoping that Kyan can come on the, the show because uh, she's here in Australia, she's here in Adelaide. Um, and hopefully she can come on the show and we can chat about her music and her creative journey because talking to people or hearing about other people's creative journeys is a really good way to help you. And the reason I mentioned that again is that the other place I'd recommend that you go and check out some cool things is the one and only Jade Star. So Jade Star has her how-to app on iOS series and uh, live in just 10 hours time. There you go. Let, let, let's throw this in the chat as well. We'll copy that one. We'll paste it over here. Uh, so so go and check out because uh, Jade is, is interviewing one of the mainstays of the metalhead hippie community another place where there's some great music played uh so you can go and check out jade and she's got an interview so tomorrow's going to be a pretty massive day we'll talk about that a little bit more later uh because there is a lot going on in the next few days around here on the channel and around the whole internet because it's not just about what's going on here there's a whole lot going on everywhere uh, i've lost my spot now <laughs> i've got all of these links up here there we go uh, let, let's jump back and, uh, and check out some final uh, comments here. And once again, if you're here live and you do have any questions, feel free to uh, drop the word question in front of any questions. If you've got anything that you want to ask for, otherwise, guess what? I'm going to keep chatting because that's that's kind of how I roll. All right, let's um, let's jump over here. Step back, step away, and come back later. Let's uh, let, let's zoom in on this one. There we go. Let's get back up here. Step back. And come, step away and come back later. Oh, wait, hang on, we've got some more. Uh, oh, what have we missed? Stop listening to me. Yeah, so let's go with Kisha. Just leave it when it isn't there. Maybe discover some new music on YouTube. Yeah, maybe listen to Your Music Live or all the other resources we just looked at before. Uh, Nostrum says, make shit music. It's okay if you can't come up with anything good. Come up with something bad. You can still learn by mixing it, arranging it, just overall practice and creating process. And hell, maybe you'll stumble on. What will you stumble on, my friend? Maybe you'll stumble on. I don't have the rest of it. Maybe you'll stumble on something. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of that comment. As you can see, I haven't even, I haven't, that was only 26 minutes ago. I haven't even done that. Maybe you'll stumble on some absolute gold that will be the best thing that you've ever created. So I, I agree with that. I agree with that, that sometimes trying to write something silly is the best thing possible. And uh, that's a good segue because uh, let's, um, let's try and write something silly. Should we do a live demonstration of how we can, um, how we can do this? So th there's something that I like to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my notes app up here on my Mac because I'm using a Mac now because that's uh, my new thing. 
Who knew that I would be a Mac user? Uh, so we need a new note. I'm going to just create a brand new blank note here. Why won't that work? I don't know. Hey, I don't know how to use it. There we go. Create a new note. All right. So we've got a new note here. And all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a minute on the clock. And uh, this is what we, this is what I do when I've got a bit of a block. So if I've got a creative block, we do what we call a speed thinking exercise. So has anyone done one of these before? I've shown them a bunch of times, but if you're newer to the channel, you may not know about these. Can I zoom in on that? Um, let's just make it, uh, can we embiggen it? <laughs> uh, font, let's just make it bigger, bigger. Hang on. Can we just do this? Big, 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 big. All right, we're doing a speed thinking exercise. So this is what we do. We take a topic and we come up with ideas about it. And then we write a little random song about it. So I need an idea here. So the just, just give me one word. Give me a noun. Can you throw some nouns in the chat here? Uh, uh, while, while we do that, I'll say good day to some other folks who are here. Uh, and I'll try to answer this question. So Orchestra Eclipse says, do you think every music company should, by law, employ mental health professionals to help creators when they feel burnt out? I mean, by law is tough, but yes, should there be more focus on mental health for musicians and music creators and all creative people? Yes, because a lot of people are not prepared, especially people that become famous. Like there is no mental health process for people that are musicians that then become famous. And there should be. Because, and the same with athletes, like athletes that are suddenly being paid $2 million to play basketball or football or hockey or whatever they they are starting to have this but it's a bit of a still the wild wild west isn't it with music that if you're a kanye west i think the reason that kanye west and look i'm going to say it right now kanye west has some significant mental health issues from what i can see of his behavior we've known that britney spears in the past has had significant challenges with mental health because they were not told at the age of 16 17 18 19 20 that this isn't normal and that they need to protect their own mental health, that this isn't exactly how things are going to be forever and they're just going to assume that that's their new normal. So, yes, good good question. I believe that there should be a whole lot more. Uh, do I want to be famous and do I want to buy followers and viewers on bigfollows.com? No, thank you. I do not. But thank you for the offer. Appreciate you. Marsupial. We're going to go with the tool mat who says marsupial. Marsupial is a great one. So I'm going to go with marsupial as my noun here. Uh, yeah, exactly. We used to call that uh, brainstorming. Uh, uh, electric car from Gregory O'Sullivan. Yeah, let's go electric car. So can we bring these together? Look, I've never done this before. We're going to go We're going to go uh, a bit weird here. You voted for Kanye? Yeah, well done, Ron. <laughs> Kanye 2024? Is that when the next one's happening? No, I think you should vote for Weird Al. I think Weird Al Yankovic would make the best US president of all time. All right, so we're going to go marsupial and electric car. So here's what we do, right? We say, set a timer for 60 seconds. All right. Oh, it's counting. It's already going. So marsupial. So we're talking about, I don't actually remember what a marsupial is. Electric car. We're talking about power. We're talking about Elon Musk. Uh, we're talking about marsupials. Is that frogs? It's not, but I think it is. Marsupials are like kangaroos, are they it? Or koalas? We're getting a bit Australian here. I don't think either of those are actually marsupials. Is the echidna? No, they're a monotreme, uh, as, as are platypus. <laughs> This is going to be the weirdest song ever, Platypus. But let's go back to the electric car thought. Uh, we've got a, uh, what are those things? Toyotas that, that everyone drives, the Prius, which um, all the uh, Uber drivers drive around in. Um, and then Uber is like a mobile app. And then it takes you, so you're going to be driving. Uh, and we've got cars, so electric cars. Uh, we've got charging stations. Uh, we're going to get a bit deep here and go with um, like uh, climate science. Don't call it climate change anymore. It's climate science. Uh, we're going to go with fossil fuels. All right, my time is up. It's buzzing. There it is. So what have we got here? What do we get from, from our random marsupials uh, electric car speed thinking exercise? We got uh, power. Elon Musk. Is it weird that Elon Musk comes right under power? No, I think that's quite uh, relevant. Uh, there you go. We can fit them all on the screen. So we've got power, Elon Musk, frogs, kangaroos, koalas, echidna, platypus, Toyotas, blah, blah, blah. So we can, I'm thinking we're writing a, a Stevie G says weed. I'm thinking we're writing a, um, 
uh, an environmental song about how we can't uh, we can't hurt the the environment anymore. So let's uh, let's get a little bit of reverb on here and let's try playing something in my favourite. Uh, we, we need a minor key for this, so we need to play in. Um, Those in power, they don't care About the little platypus and echidnas They don't drive, no Toyota Prius Or catch an Uber Cause they got their own limousine Charging stations they're not enough Fossil fuels are gonna end us off Those who don't like what we say About climate science Will have their way Save the koalas Save the echidna Save the kangaroos Save the frogs Save the platypus Cause they're a monotreme It means they lay eggs But still have nipples Still have nipples Save the platypus Was that a good song? No. Was that fun? Yes. Is that going to turn into anything? Maybe not. Does it matter? No. Uh, if I was suffering from creative block, did I just create something out of nothing in the space of two minutes? Yes. So there you go. That, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> it's like a John Williams song, right? <laughs> you just got to go with it. Just got to have fun. Don't forget to have fun. Uh, speaking of having fun, we, 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 only have, uh, we only have 10 minutes left to have more fun. And I do want to tell you about all the things uh, that we have up. So we're going to have to do some, uh, some quick fire. Uh, in fact, we've got we've, all the way. The only one that we have left is, uh, is a couple here, that, uh, a couple of comments that were step away and come back later. Yes, move away, do something different, and then come back. That's great advice. And Mikey T says, do you have a Discord? You know what? I, don't, I, I do have an, a, a, a Discord. I've just never used it. So uh, <laughs> let's go to Discord and I'll see if I can log in uh, and uh, if I can share you the link because I don't actually know how this works. Oh, yeah, there you go. Welcome back. I am a human. I'm just going to log into my... Oh, no. Invalid. No, I, I don't. So uh, I, I, I've tried to create a Discord, but uh, it hasn't worked. Let's talk about what's happening around the channel for the next uh, couple of days, shall we? Because uh, there's a whole heap going on and it's all starting tomorrow. Uh, so uh, we've got, first of all, what you want to do is you want to jump over to uh, this one here. We've already talked about it, but the one and only Jade Star uh, has an interview show tomorrow. So this is kicking everything off 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. And uh, what does that make it? It makes it 8 a.m. for those in Sydney or Melbourne in the east coast of Australia. Check out Jade and her show there. Straight after Jade, or a little bit after Jade, I'm going to be doing an Ask Me Anything. So a home recording questions AMA. So for the folks in the US and Canada, if you're watching this on the replay, jump over. That dude there will be talking about uh, whatever you want to talk about as well. Uh, we then have uh, a very special show. So uh, it's down in the description. You'll see how you can join us on Patreon. If you're not already a patron, and you want to join us on Patreon, there'll be a very interesting new show concept that we're launching tomorrow that you may want to check out. It, like most things, it could be cool or it may be an absolute train wreck. And you know what the cool thing is? Either way, it'll be entertaining. So you, you can come and see me fail or you can come and see potential success, but either way, it's going to be fun. Then you can come over here 
And check out our man Mike at Creative Source and his show featured artists live there. He's going to be talking about to, talking about what is it the, that he uses? Cakewalk by BandLab, which is a great uh, great little DAW if you're on the PC. Then that kicks off the big weekend. We've got a whole bunch of stuff happening around here. We have Ron Ward. Ron, where's Ron at? Indie, homegrown indie music live. So playing a whole bunch of cool indie music. That'll be Friday night for me or Friday morning or afternoon for you, depending where you are in the world. That's going to be a great show. Or actually, yeah, it's going to be like the middle of the night for most people. <laughs> that's the main problem with that one. Uh, that, that That's my show. We then have a little show called Your Music Live. So I need a quick drink break. We have Your Music Live, uh, which is kicking off Saturday morning. That one is at, uh, again, very early Saturday morning. So that'll be at midday if you're in Pacific time zone on Friday. Uh, and then uh, at 3 p.m. New York time, 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, 7 a.m. for those here in Australia. I'm then doing a happy hour. And look at that. I found a cool little jukebox. Does anyone remember those jukeboxes where you, you pressed in the buttons and you went like, I want D5. And it played a cool song. Yeah. I like those. So we're going to do a bit of a request show, jukebox show. We got Garage Band Weekly as well to round out the weekend. So there's going to be a whole lot of uh, whole lot of stuff going on, and it's going to be a lot of fun uh, right here on the channel. Uh, so thank you all for for hanging out. I, I do enjoy this show, and I know it was a bit of a different one here. Normally. We talk about a whole bunch of different topics. We talk about all sorts of different YouTube channels and we talk about different things and what's been happening in the last week. This week, I just wanted to keep it simple. And I wanted to say to you, the main point of all this was, if you are feeling non-creative, if you're feeling like you don't have the ability to keep creating music, we've all been there. I just wanted to reinforce the fact that we're all there. In fact, um, I'm going to check the, uh, the Facebook group because if you haven't checked out the Facebook group called Create, Record, Release. That is the official Facebook group of Studio Live Today and Studio Live Yesterday. More on that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, if you go over to Create, Record, Release, I've put this poll out there. And uh, as you can probably see from there, on that one, it's exactly the same. 87% of people say they have suffered from some sort of burnout. Now, I've not put any of those comments here because that is a private group. But if you want to find out what those people had to say, just go to createrecordrelease.com. You may be watching it on Create Record Release right now. You may already know about it. But if you don't, go to createrecordrelease.com. If you want to find out the latest that's going on around here, my email newsletter just came out. So you can go to studiolivetoday.com slash email and join the email newsletter. And you're going to find out about all the things that are going on around here, including, drum roll please, yeah, it's going to be a great weekend, uh, including the fact that I have a brand new channel that is a about to launch, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll bring it up here in just a moment. I, I've I've never gone to it. I literally set this. <laughs> it doesn't look that good. <laughs> I literally set this up about ten minutes before the show, and it doesn't even have because it doesn't have any subscribers yet. But I'm not even subscribed to this. So here's the thing. There are about 20 of you watching this live now on a bunch of different platforms. And a few of you will be watching this on the replay over the next sort of uh, 12 hours between now and when I'm live again. If you want to be amongst the very first people to jump on and subscribe to my new channel, it has just been launched and it is called Studio Live Yesterday. I know it sounds like a joke, but, but that's what it's called. And uh, what we're going to be doing on Studio Live yesterday is like what we do here on Studio Live today, but all about the retro old school electronics. So yes, there's going to be some music, some old school music, sort of cassettes and records and vinyl, all that sort of stuff. Recording, old school recording techniques, old school uh, like trackers and uh, MIDI and the history of a lot of the stuff that we do here, as well as a little bit of the stuff that I'm into around the nerd side of things. So gaming and uh, and just some old school retro stuff. I'm gonna, I've got a cupboard, I've got a massive cupboard full of gear upstairs that I haven't done anything with. And what I thought I would do is go and grab it and talk about it. 
before it goes into landfill or before I move it on, I'm going to document it. And uh, if you're into the retro side of music or the retro side of electronics, then uh, you may want to join up. You may want to subscribe. So I've dropped a link to that. There'll be a link down there. Black Covers says that they're first. There you go. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so by the time I, uh, I'm going to bed shortly, I'll wake up in the morning and we'll see how many folks that we have that are already subscribed to the studio live yesterday. And yeah, I thought that the, the little logo I did there, I, I made that in Canva again just before, but I like the whole idea of that. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got an old four-track machine, a uh, four-track tape machine that I want to try and get up and running. Uh, I've got a bunch of other retro gear. I've got my original laptop. So the first laptop I ever owned, which was a, a Toshiba uh, 420, uh, which is like a very, very old, chunky uh, laptop that ran DOS and Windows 95. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you're concerned, if you're worried, if you're thinking, is this going to take away from everything that you do here? No, this is 100% a side project. This is like when, um, I'm trying to think of the, the example uh, of like a, a solo artist that had a band and then they just went and did a side project, but it, it'll very much not take away. This isn't, this isn't Phil Collins leaving Genesis because, you know, I've got tickets on myself apparently and I think I'm like Phil Collins. But no, this isn't, this isn't me going away and doing something completely different. This is all the stuff I wish I could do on Studio Live today, but don't want to put it all out there for people that just simply don't care. But if you're like me, Perhaps you're a little bit older, perhaps you have been through, perhaps you've used DOS PCs, perhaps you've used other music gear in the past, perhaps you like your vinyl and your records and your reel-to-reels and your cassettes and uh, mini DVs and all that cool stuff from the past, then um, yeah, come along, join us, have some fun. So there you go, we've got Black Covers, we've got Stevie G, we've got Ron Ward, uh, we've already got uh, a bunch of folks there. So uh, do do come and join us. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to subscribe up here now as well. Look, uh, uh, I'll, I'll do the, the shameless self-promotion like you and come over here and sub me up there you go i have now subscribed to my own channel it has zero content on there and there you go we've got six of you so you can say you can say in like a year's time when we have 60 subscribers <laughs> that you're among the first six because you're watching live and you're subscribed straight away so we'll get some videos happening next week, but uh, I just wanted to do a little mini soft launch of that one here on the show. So uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, sounds just like the thing. It should be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, a little bit older. Exactly. Spot on. Thanks for being here. It's going to be a massive weekend. So I'm going to go and rest my <clears throat> rest my delicate voice. And uh, I hope, you again, if you had fun, you can hit the thumbs up button. If you're watching on the replay of this one uh, and you're in a time zone where you couldn't watch this one live, don't worry, because I'm probably going to be live again very soon. We have uh, the Ask Me Anything happening tomorrow. We've got the Patreon live. We've got a whole bunch of all sorts of cool stuff. It's all down in the description. So once this one finishes, just jump down to this description. All of the, the, the cool live shows that we've got in this channel and the whole community are linked down there. You can check all of those out. Thanks, everyone, for being here. As we say at the end of every show, please be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Keep creating, folks. And I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.